Hello everyone and uh, welcome once again to Teach Yourself Math. Today's lesson 3 will be looking at and on use the distributive property to multiply. Sit back to understand. In our previous lesson, we learned how to use distributive property to multiply numbers. For example, let's say we have a, a one digit number 3 to multiply a two digit number 11. Using the technique of distributive property, what it says is that look at the two digit number. You can separate this number into two. So let's write 11, separate this number into two. And how do you do that? The ones place digit is one. So that is one. And uh, the tens place digit is also one. One, because it is in the tens place. So that is one tens. So that is 10. So 11 has been separated into the sum of 10 and 1. So that's why we can write this 3 multiplies. Now 11 is the sum of 10 and 1. So according to distributive property, you are now going to use the number outside, which is 3. We multiply all the numbers inside the bracket. It will multiply 10 and it will multiply 1 okay so the first thing you're going to do now the number outside 3 multiplies the one of the numbers inside 10 you put your addition sign the number outside 3 we also multiply the second number 1 in the bracket that's it so that's how we got to this stage okay now you can multiply easily 3 times 10 that's 30 and 3 times 1, 3. Then 30 plus 3 will give you 33. Okay, so this is just an intro. But this time around, let's look at uh, if the two numbers are two digit numbers, then how do you multiply them? The same technique will still be used, okay? Um, following this model, at the side, you place the 12 which represents the rows. If you count this mod if you draw a, a model box and you count it, okay, you're gonna see that the total number of rows, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, the total number of rows is 12. And uh, the next number, which is 15, will be placed here, yeah, up 15. If you also count the numbers, it will give you 15. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second step, as we have done earlier, is uh, this 15 will be separated into two. And uh, think about that. What is that going to give us? If you separate 15, so don't forget 15 as a number, it's going to be five ones and one tens, which means one and zero, 10. So it's separated into 10 and five. Why the 12 will still remain the same? So 10 and 5. And the next we're going to do now, don't forget, you now use this 12 at the side. We multiply both 10 and 5. And that leaves us with this. 12 multiplies 10, the same 12 multiplies 5. Now we can do what is 12 times 10. 12 times 10. Just take it one step at a time. Remember a technique that we've used before, which says this 12 multiplies the 0 in the 1's place. And 12 times 0 is 0. The same number, 12 multiplies 1 in the 10's place. 12 times 1 is 12. So the whole of this is 100. 20 120 next we can do 12 times 5 12 times 5 5 multiplies 2 5 times 2 10 we write 0 the remaining 1 goes up 5 times 1 is 5 plus the 1 up 6 
12 times 5 is 60. So we have 60. Then we have the two numbers together, 120 plus 60. Add starting from the ones place, 0 plus 0, 0. 2 plus 6, 8. And 1 with nothing is still 1. Final answer, 180. 12 times 15 will give you 180. This is a very simple technique. All you have to do, know the steps to follow or the procedure. And that takes us to this talk about it. So, two questions and we are done for today. The first one wants us to ask him, how would you use the distributive property to find 12 times 18? Then find the product. Very, very easy. What are the steps involved? Remember, I think there are about three steps. Step one is separate this number 18. So we're going to separate 18 into two numbers. 8 in the ones place, 8 ones, and 1 in the tens place. So 1, 10. So 10 and 18, 8. Step 2. That means now we have 12 multiplies 18. Our 18 is now 10 plus 8. Step 3. Remember, the 12 outside now, we multiply all the numbers inside the 10. It will also multiply 8. So we can have it as 12 times 10. Remember to put plus, and the same 12 multiplies 8. Now finally, finally we just need to find this, the product, and add 12 times 10 will give us, don't forget 12, let me do it out again, 12 times 10. The all of 12 multiplies 0, that is 0, and the all of 12 multiplies 1, that is 12, so that is 120 plus, then you can do 12 times 8, 12 times 8, 8 multiplies 2, 16, right, 6, take 1 up, 8 multiplies 1, 8, plus the 1 up, 9, that is 96, so, which gives, align the numbers properly, for you to know how to get it correctly, so 120 plus 96, 0 plus 6 is 6, 2 plus 9, 11, right, 1, take 1 up, 1 plus 1, 2, final answer, 216. So these are the steps involved, and that is what is required of you to find the product. So I want you to pause the video and try this number 2 by yourself. You also, how would you use the distributive property? to find 14 times 7. So this time around, please pause the video, pause the video and do it yourself before you play it back. So I'm going to do it quickly. 17 becomes 10 plus 7. I believe that's what you've done. Step 2, you have the number 14 now multiplies 10 plus 7. And the next step, we use the number 14 to multiply each of the numbers inside 10 and 14 multiplies 7. And finally, we find the product 14 times 10 will give us 140 plus 14 times 7, 14 times 7, 7 times 4, 28, we write 8. We write 8 and uh, take 2 up. 7 times 1, 7, 7 plus 2, 9. So that is 98. So we can find 140 plus 98. The ones place digit 8 plus 0 is 8. The tens place digit 9 plus 4, 13. We write 3 and we take 1 up. 1 plus 1, 2. Final answer, 
238. Okay, guys, if you still do not understand, go and play the video, start all over again to have better understanding. Until you understand, don't stop playing it. Take care of yourself and bye bye.